Hey guys, Lazy Designs here, and welcome to this quick tutorial about how to create this this um, dispersion effect. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is quickly walk you through about what we're going to be creating, and then we can go ahead and get started. So as you can tell, um, these are the layers that we're going to be creating. This is the um, level adjustment, so just to give it some nice depth and uh, some better levels. And then we got this, our main layer, so that's of our model. And this is basically the main splash effect we're going to be creating. And then we got some background um, shading and some different splashes that we're going to add. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and quickly delete all this and then we can go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need an image and before you go ahead and do anything you're going to have to make sure that it's on a different layer than your background. So for my background I just used a, um, a gradient so I'll just quickly show you what gradient I used, which is this one. So it's just a light gray to dark gray, and I just dragged from all the way to there. And our model is right here on a different layer. Okay, so you're going to have to make sure that your background is on a different layer and your actual person or whatever you're going to be creating is on a different layer as well. So once you have that, the first thing we're going to do is duplicate our model. Now after that if you press Ctrl T to transform and drag horizontally we're going to go ahead and scale her this way. Now the reason why we're doing this and also why you're doing this is make sure that um, there are no holes in the model as you're stretching this and that way you'll get a better result once we go ahead and start in layer master and so on. So I'm going to do it once and then move it behind our main layer and I'm going to go ahead and do it again move it behind to the bottom and then go ahead and press Control T again to transform and again we're going to go ahead and drag it out a little bit now I think I'm going to do it just one more time so again drag it behind Control T to transform and just drag it to about there okay so now we've got a little bit of a problem due to the fact that um, our background layer is pretty dark and she got uh, our model got some dark areas inside her so the first thing I do I'm gonna select these three layers and hit control E to merge them together and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my um, dodge tool um, with about 75% um, exposure and I'm gonna go ahead and lighten these darker areas out okay just so once we um, once we start using the splashes, um, it's not going to mix up with our background colour, just very roughly, it doesn't really matter, um, just so she doesn't have so many dark areas in there. Okay, so once we have that, I'm also going to go ahead and lighten this area out a little bit, like so, and once we have that, we can go ahead and add a layer mask to this. Okay, so if you click this button right here, it will add layer mask to it. Now if you hit G and then go to your paint bucket tool, make sure that your foreground layer is black. Click that and that way it will fill in your background mask with a black colour. Okay, so once we have that we can go ahead and start um, creating the splashes which is pretty straightforward. So I have these splashes downloaded. Um, I'll probably put a link in the description where you can download these brushes from. And once you have these brushes, you can go ahead and start adding in the splashes. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause um, the recording and I'll just speed this part up so you guys don't have to watch me uh, clicking all the splashes. Okay, so I'll see you guys just in a second. Okay, so we're back. And now after you've got this rough... Um, Splash is created. What we're going to do is we're also going to add a layer mask to our main layer. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to leave this filled in with white and we're going to use a black brush um, to start taking bits away from our actual model. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quick. Um, you can be fairly rough. I mean, obviously, the more time you spend on this, the better it will look later on so I'm keep changing my brushes um, to make sure that it doesn't look too similar all the way and let's pick this brush and carry on taking pieces away from our main 
layer. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And you can also obviously go ahead and diff, pick a different brush again and start taking away pieces again. So carry on doing that until you have the result that you wanted. And I'm pretty much getting there, so I think I'll probably stop in just a second. I think I'll add a little bit more over here. I want to keep her face intact, so. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I think I'm quite happy with the results. So, um, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to have to go ahead and um, add some extra effects to this and also we're going to go ahead and add some extra splatters around here okay just to give it some more detail so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and create a new layer on the bottom and we're going to create uh, get one of our bigger brushes uh, probably about 1200 pixels ish for this and I'm just going to go ahead and select a better brush for my liking for what we're going to need uh, probably this one will do what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this pink colour from here okay and then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click to about there but I still don't like this brush that much so I'm going to click and pick a different brush I will probably do a better job maybe this one if I scale it up a bit not that much, probably like 1500 pixels should do the trick so what, yeah, that's looking pretty good so once I have that I'm also going to go ahead and pick another colour that we are lacking a bit probably about this colour and maybe a bit lighter one from around there and that looks pretty good I think and now what once we have that what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a quick selection okay so I'm gonna drag from about here to about here because I don't want all these splashes on that side um, there we go if I didn't mess that line up and if I stop messing up my selection there we go and then just gonna hit quick delete okay to keep this area nice and tidy and that way we only get these splashes on that side as you can tell so I'm gonna turn on the opacity of this a little bit and I think we need a little bit more pink in there so I'm gonna pick my brush again on a new layer pick this pink probably splash it to about up there because I would want I want these um splashes on the side okay and then again quickly go ahead and to my selection and hit delete okay and that way I only get it the pink areas around there so once we have these splashes created what we're going to do is we're going to leave these layers and create a new one and with a nice round brush probably about this size I'm going to pick a black colour and I'm quickly just going to go ahead and brush in these edges okay so just to give us this effect that was a bit too much okay so now I have that and also go ahead and move this to the top turn down the opacity a little bit probably about 50% and the last thing that we're actually going to do is um, make a layer adjustment so on our top layer I'm going to go ahead and pick bit bigger brush probably about a thousand pixels 1200 maybe no that's too much thousand if it would work there we are and I'm gonna quickly um, turn on this mask mode and just click to about up here maybe make this a little bit smaller about 800 pixels and I'm just going to quickly click here, okay, and now we've got that masked out with a nice feathery radius. I'm going to come out of that mode, and as you can tell, I make selection around there. 
Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to our layer styles or adjustments and click levels and I'm just going to go ahead and adjust these levels to my liking okay so I'm going to darken this bit gonna drag this slide around to about here drag the mid tones as well so about there maybe a bit more to here okay and we basically have our image created okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial obviously you can go ahead and add more details to this and spend a bit more time with this and then you'll get a better result um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, make sure you subscribe like and favorite and I will see you guys um, in one of my next tutorials